So we start off at MJ's trash ass play that nobody gives a fuck about besides Peter and Harry. And if y'all ain't know, I'm a elite level MJ hater. Fuck her and them 2B movie level plays she be doing. I mean, Shorty been getting passed around since high school. Straight Vegeta and Goku level subbing. But we look up and we see Harry watching MJ. And then he starts looking down at Peter so crazy. He had to have had that reverse flash level hatred. It was at that moment, bro, decided that he was finna try to fuck up Peter's life. So we skip to the end of the play and Peter walking out and he sees Harry and he starts chasing him down and he like I need to talk to you to explain things and then Harry turns around and he like tell that to my father ah. bitch ass nigga and then he gets in his car and drives away and then it skips to Peter congratulating MJ but we do not care later that night we arrive at Harry's mansion and I guess that nigga just said it became personal with me because this nigga Harry was fully immersed in that crash out gas. And yes, we all know that shit literally turned his pops into the biggest tweak in all of fiction. Because after Norman turned into the Green Goblin, every time he had the chance, he shitted on Harry. Nigga, did I just catch you on the B shit? But Harold Osborne did not care. He this was like, fuck it, I want to be like him. And I mean, look at this nigga. Even got the stare just like his father. And meanwhile, we at Aunt May House and she trying to get Peter this little ass ring because he want to propose oh, to oh, MJ Holmes. And it's the same ring bro right here had to bring out his glasses just to see that kaisenet shaped diamond nigga might as well announce it to the whole restaurant like broke nigga alert alert broke nigga is alert. it talking about me broke nigga I alert. Think so, my nigga. broke nigga and then we cut to peter on his moped enjoying his day and then this nigga harry comes in and grabs his ass and picks him up like diddy did tank and then they almost hit a bus and then these niggas start boxing in the air and i ain't gonna lie for a 2007 movie the cgi looking better than the last four seasons of the flash <laughs> But Harry grabs him, got him in a bully pose, and then hits this nigga with a headbutt. And then he grabs this nigga mouth like when your mom snatch your lips. And he holding this nigga Peter up in the air with one hand. I just know his feet was dangling. And then he proceeds to pull out his arm blades and cuts this nigga torso. Got him screaming out like... And then Peter swings over his arm, jumps off his glider, and then swings away. And that's when Peter was like... You know I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. Because he starts beaming Harry in the face until he starts getting annoyed as hell. And then he flies into his web, cuts that shit off, making... And Peter fall and then punting this nigga straight into a building, leaving a Peter sized dent in that hole. And while Harry got Peter in the Yamcha pose, this nigga pulls up like. After bro gets done emo no Peter, we see this nigga dressed head to toe in Rick Owens and Chrome Hearts. He glides down to Peter's level and takes off his shiesty and he sees that it's Harry Osborne in the flesh. And he like. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be and if i was peter i wouldn't even have been mad that it was harry it would have been because bro did all of that just to flex his new fit on him because we all know all that nigga peter got is two dollars mj thought ass a paper clip and a piece of hubba bubba gum on the bottom of a bus seat and peter like harry you knew this was coming, Pete. And then goes in to rock this nigga charging up a wild right. But Peter flips out the weight and then he goes and hits the wall, leaving a glory hole in that bitch. He looks up and Peter above him talking about, listen to me, I didn't kill that tweak. And then he goes to grab him and then he flips out the way and he like, he was trying to kill me, but he went out like a bitch. And then this nigga Harry grabs the wall and throws that shit on him. And then he sneaks up from behind and while Peter not looking, he comes from behind and then punches the rock, trying to make him take that Black Widow level fall damage. But Peter swings out the way and then Harry hits Hits his ass with right into the air, flies up, and then kicks this nigga. And while Peter catches himself falling, this nigga stomps no. on his back like he was trying to do a mean ass primary lotus. And then while Peter falling, he grabs this nigga leg and is dragging him head first into buildings. Got his shit bouncing off the brick like a basketball. I mean, look at the faces he making. That shit look real familiar. Who's it? You never win. It. You've never had it. And then he throws that nigga through two building windows. And then Peter starts trying to catch his ring. But Harry like, here comes the And then trucks his ass out of frame. And while his ring is falling, he starts choking this nigga Peter. But Peter shoots a web in his face and then elbows him and proceeds to kick that nigga Rick Owens and then starts swinging his ass around like Diddy be doing rappers at his parties. But he throws that nigga out of frame and then shoots two webs at the ground, running to get his ring. But while Harry falling, he like, Job's not finished. Cause the glider flies back to Harry and now he on chase down. He catches up to Peter and then he kicks that nigga onto the top of the building. And then Peter gets up and starts cheesing hard as hell cause he caught the ring. And then Harry starts chasing this nigga down like Rod Wave beat chasing ice cream trucks and then he goes to hit him but peter disappears hit harry ass with that and then while harry up in the sky searching for him he like and then harry starts chasing peter down but peter swing it through new york because we all know he's sanctioned in every hood and that's when peter gets the idea to go through this alley but peter was smart as hell he knew harry wouldn't be able to navigate his way through the trenches he a spoiled rich kid from manhattan he's not like that but harry said he was not j-lo what's something else that real new yorkers say you
Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Harry said he was actually from them blocks because he starts gliding through that hole, jumping up and down like Meek Mill was. And then Peter, looking back, scared as hell, and rightfully so, because this nigga pulls out a green sword from Roblox off his back and tries to cut Peter, but he misses. And the way he was winding that motherfucker up is crazy. If that was Miles Morales in front of him, I would have been questioning Sam Raimi, because look at this nigga's form. That shit is immaculate. But Peter swings off a bar, swings onto another, and then this nigga starts winding up his sword like he finna throw down the meanest dunk, but he goes to stab Peter, but he misses, and then he bounces off and regains his balance, and then he pulls out them annoying ass golden snitch balls from Harry Potter, and then he throws one at Peter, and he like, God, I hate those things, and Harry like, I bet, and proceeds to throw six more at this nigga, got my son Peter swinging and running up the wall like he vector or some shit, and that's when they start tagging his ass on his thigh, rib, and back, so this nigga jumps off a pole, swings off the hill, and tries to drop kick Harry, and then that's when he catches friendly fire from his own pumpkin bomb, but he catches back up to Peter, and he starts webbing all the pumpkin bomb so he grabs one and throws that shit at Harry causing an explosion and then look at this nigga Harry nigga was like IG gon' love this one but then he comes out days hitting a stank face like he front row at a sexy red concert and he caught a whiff of that motherfucker and then he sees that Peter has a web head level and then this nigga gets close line hits a vent goes back first into another vent and then bounces off Rowdy Rich music discography since 2019 straight garbage but Peter must have swapped brains with Scotty Barnes cause this dumb nigga up there looking surprised like nigga is that not what you meant to do but like a good friend Peter takes him to the hospital and he survives and then we find out that he has lost his memory cause Peter literally gave this nigga Aaron Hernandez level CTE so he can't remember a thing so he starts fucking with Peter again after they get done talking MJ comes in but we do not care no nah, I'm just playing we skip to MJ and this time we actually do care cause she walks in and sees somebody doing her play rehearsal and basically the directors of the play was like <laughs> This thing is trash. And basically she got her ass fired. So she walks out and hears applause, but it's just Peter getting attention from citizens. I ain't gonna lie, that shit is a hundred percent embarrassing. <laughs> so y'all wanna know what she does next? This bitch goes through her contacts and then she clicks on Harry's name instead of her boyfriend's. So he picks up the phone and he like, hello? Hey Harry, it's MJ. And then this nigga instantly starts grinning like Duke Dennis. Nigga voice got deep and everything like, hey, Boy, you... I need some company. Huh? Are you doing anything? What? Can I come by? She belongs to the streets. And even though this nigga Harry brain is fried deep down inside, he just can't help himself to fuck with anybody else in the city. Like nigga, you're rich. Go fuck with a supermodel or something. You trying to settle for this regular ass. If she was born in the 2000s, she'd be an OnlyFans thought ass. Oh. But Harry like, yeah, sure. Pull up shorty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? Are you sure it's okay? Nah, I'm not doing anything. Please, just come over. And then Harry tells his butler to make some food because he got MJ coming over in a little bit. And that's when he like, a uh hoe? -huh? Um, yes, a uh hoe. -huh. You mean like a shorty? Man, just get some food. Fake ass Alfred. Damn, my phone, Master Osborne. You know you don't get no hoes. So we skipped a later on that night. And y'all see it's nighttime. And she called Harry at daytime. So this bitch waited for a prime. Bodie called hours to slide to Harry crib. She knew what she was doing. So she walks in and he like, you hungry? This motherfucker don't miss. Yeah. And then this nigga invites Peter Ho in. Like, is what the fuck is going serious? on? And then Harry starts cooking for her. And this nigga got some genuine playing in the back. So he turned that hoe up because he trying to set the mood. And then this nigga Dang. starts dancing with her on some wild usher time. And then this nigga was in the kitchen just burning shit. So they had to stop. After they get done cooking that Aisha Curry ass meal, Shorty be feeding my goat burgers with nails, sweaty gym socks, and shoes in that bitch. They at the table. And this bitch starts rubbing on this nigga head. And then y'all already know what happened. She kissed. This is this nigga. <laughs> And then after she gets done giving that nigga Magic Johnson disease, this bitch gonna get up and leave and let's all say it together now. Yes, I'm a hoe. And then Harry starts chasing after her, fiending for that milk like Anthony Mackie was with Scarlett Johansson. That's Scarlett Johansson. Well done. 100%. Well done. I mean, that nigga was literally begging Kevin Feige for a chance at those like my nigga. nigga. Chill. But after MJ leaves, Harry blew as hell because this nigga has that where my hug at level game. He takes a shot and his pop star pressing him straight. I thought you were bad. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. And then that nigga memory starts to come back and he even remembering shit wrong. The CTE corrupting this nigga brain. But he looks up and his dad like, little nigga, you remember me? Yes, father. I remember. I was right about that hoe. That she did the whole block. Yeah about everything you know what you must do huh? harry make that broke nigga suffer make him wish he was dead first take his eater and then flex on his bum ass and after harry father gave that nigga a lesson and crash out 101 we cut to mj apartment and it's dark as hell in that bitch and peter on the phone pouring out his heart even though that hey, smut yo, just cheating on him and then harry pops up out of nowhere and starts strangling her ass and then puts her up on the wall and he like if you want peter to live huh? 
you gonna do something for me we cut to peter seeing mj and he calling her beautiful my nigga got flowers and everything and then mj like there's something i gotta tell you Pete. Yeah. okay it's not working and then while peter's still trying to get her back she start manipulating my nigga and gaslighting him until she like there's someone else <laughs> I'm tired of fucking with your broke ass Peter. And then a bitch just runs away. Shorty turned into LeBron cause she yeah. was just sitting there lying her ass off. And then look at this nigga Harry in the background smiling devious as hell. And then he like, bravo, if you acted as good as you did then in that play, maybe you would have kept your job. And then a nigga starts staring up at the sky like he just did God's work. We skipped a Peter and Harry talking in a coffee shop right after he just got his ass dumped. And then he like, she said that I wasn't there for her and that there's another guy. And Peter should have known something was up. Look how uninterested this nigga look but peter like gang i was gonna propose to her and then like the cut he is harry starts defending her as like well she's been going through a tough time lately huh? her career she lost her job because the critic says she acts like the rock and then he's like hold up she told you that she got fired and not me and that's, that's when this nigga something? decided to fuck yeah. with peter for no reason at all hit his ass with that well that's why i asked you here Pete. i'm the other guy and before peter was able to get mad harry hit his ass with that don't get mad so Peter gets up and walks out and then he gets outside and he like no, fuck that! And then this nigga Harry turns around grinning like he's sukin it and then he gonna wink at my nigga and then he just disappears he Even had this black nigga in the back like hey yo what the fuck But Peter goes home and he's sitting at the foot of his twin size bed contemplating life And that's when a flip switches in his head cause he looks to the left and decided to lock in like fatherhood Jalen Green Cause Harry done unleashed that bully We skip to Harry Mansion and he pouring himself a cocktail and then Bully McGuire pops up in the back out of nowhere like a father when his son makes it to the league and then that's when harry like want a drink and then he turns around and he like you mad i took your hoe huh? don't worry about it she was for everyone me you the ock down the street at the deli i heard he aki weighed himself in your bitch pants she was my eater and then he sips his drink and he like well now she's everyone <laughs> bitch ass nigga she doesn't know what you are nigga what did he say she knows me very well did you forget that i was the first to smack them buns yeah. and she was my eater first you just mad she friends on you like tyler did god and don't get me started on her kisses Ooh, huh? strawberries and then peter hits his ass with the right Not walks right. him down and then hits him with the left Hacks his ass in the nose gave him a free doctor miami visit and then hits his ass with two rights after that so harry stabs him in the stomach and then bully mcguire pulls that weak shit out grabs him and then harry pulls out his arm blades and tries to take off peter's head and then he catches a heel kick Not to the right. jaw and then gets sparta kicked into a wall turning that nigga into an eagle and then bully mcguire runs up and almost gets decapitated twice and then he gets hit with the left grabs him and then harry goes for a spinning back fist but get caught and then they start struggling because harry trying to send peter with uncle ben stay. and then he like fuck this and hits peter with a left into a wall and then he goes to cut his head off again and then gets stuck in a wall so peter breaks them holes off and then hits his ass with the left and then he throws a backhand gets caught and then gets kicked onto a table and then harry like how'd you like that spider and then they start walking around this table for no reason at all and then harry sneaks his ass with the right but peter said you are not sneak nation no more and then took his chain and then kicked this nigga out a window and while bro tumbling in the air like gabby douglas and bleeding out the mouth peter like stings doesn't it and before harry gets up he like i protected you in high school now i'm finna beat your little ass Ooh. and then harry runs up gets thrown into a wall and peter starts throwing up toward these because he can't hit a punch but peter like fuck it and hits his ass with a backhand and then this nigga throws him into a pillar and then he goes back first into a wall so they run up to each other and peter tackles this nigga into the goblin cave and then harry runs away like josh kitty when ain't no girls under 18 around and then he grabs his sword trying to end peter right there but he putting up tony snail numbers because he put it hit shit and then while harry glider tweaking out spinning around the room like a beyblade this nigga harry tries to slice off peter's head and then his leg but peter grabs his ass makes him get on top like that was real gay my nigga and then he kicks that nigga into his glider making that nigga fly into the wall and while harry on the ground feeling the effects of that ass whooping peter walks over and this nigga trying to parlay with peter but he was not hearing none of that shit he started calling harry an embarrassment saying his pop did not fuck with his ass i guess his feelings just got hurt because he was looking sad as hell and peter hit him with that oh, look at little goblin jr Damn, gonna cry and then he gets up and peter throw chops his ass I back down and before he walks away he throws a pumpkin bomb at peter so he weaves that bitch catches that motherfucker and then throws that shit at harry and then it blows up in his face and he just walks away casually and hey even though bully mcguire turned harry ass into cuff him they somehow became friends again with that old yee ass oh your mom named martha damn that's crazy me too twin ass bonded but my nigga harry dies peter saves the city and mj still a thought at the end of the day and i'm trying to be more consistent so drop what y'all want to
to see in the comments and i just might do that motherfucking next but with that being said i'll see y'all next week maybe